Role-playing games has been a main pillar of video games for a very long time, as they can be some of the most engrossing experiences, whether that be with their addictive mechanics, rich stories and characters, or making meaningful decisions that impact the world. With such an expansive genre though, there are a lot of great games. So today we are going to narrow things down by taking a look at the top 15 best role-playing games available on PC as of 2020. Now do keep in mind that this is only my opinion and yours may be completely different. If that is the case, let me know some of your favorites in the comments below. I also did try to focus on more modern games and I did not include JRPGs as I have a completely separate list for those games. If you want, you can check that list out as well, which will be in the description below. With that said, let's get right into the list. At number 15, I have the indie darling Undertale. This is a smaller game, but with a very passionate fan base, and for good reason. This is a good RPG that's very different than some of the other games on the market. While many games are focused on killing your enemies, Undertale instead gives you a choice. You can actually beat this game by befriending every monster you see. Even the combat itself is very refreshing as you navigate a heart through several obstacles to avoid damage. It is inspired by the legendary Earthbound, and just like Earthbound, Undertale is very charming and has a quirky but engaging story. This interesting take on gaming is both refreshing as well as rewarding at the same time. Next up I have the Pokemon clone, Tim Tim. The Pokemon games have a very special place in my heart, being some of my all-time favorite games ever made, and while Tim Tim isn't exactly Pokemon, it may come up as being the next best thing, and some may argue it's even better. And the fact it's on PC is just amazing. Now this game is an early access game with a plan for release for 2021, but I thought it was good enough to include on this list. It's a very addictive game as you catch new monsters, train them, evolve them, and work your way up to being the best trainer there ever was. It does, however, have an MMO spin on it, as you can see other real-life trainers roam the world, but you can absolutely enjoy this game, playing it completely by yourself. This one may not be as popular as some of the other games on this list, but Operencia is a game that I think RPG fans really need to pay attention to. It is a little more niche, playing like an old-school first-person dungeon crawler, and you don't really have complete free control of your movement. Instead, you move in a grid-based pattern, which isn't ideal, but even then, I think every other aspect is done well enough that it deserves a spot on this list. Each dungeon you explore is highly creative and has quite a few clever puzzles that may stump you from time to time. The story itself is almost told like a fairy tale, and it's the characters and voice acting that really sells you as a quality experience. And then the first person turn based combat is excellent as well. This game was a surprise to me because when I went into it, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I was shocked at how good it actually is. BioWare may have had some issues this generation with games like Anthem and Mass Effect Andromeda, but Dragon Age Inquisition is one game that I think that they may have done right. It is a little different than some of their past Dragon Age entries, but one thing that really stands out with Inquisition is its character progression. It is absolutely staggering to see how much your characters can grow by the end of this game. So if you're one of those players who really like to mess around with different character builds and customization, then Inquisition may be a game worth checking out. Disco Elysium is one of the most interesting games on this list, and is completely different than anything else within the genre. Instead of focusing on combat, it's very narrative driven with fantastic dialogue as you try to solve a noir type story. It does take some inspiration from Dungeons and Dragons with dice rolls, but more with its story driven aspects instead. Even the art style, which is almost like a painting, is just so different, but gorgeous at the same time. If there is one game that I could compare this to, it would be another all-time great RPG, Planescape Torment. It is a bit of a slow burner, so not everybody will love this game right away, but if you like those type of games where it heavily focuses on psychology and story, then Disco Elysium may be the perfect game for you. This one may surprise a few people, but Bug Fables made my list. I absolutely love this game. Bug Fables basically takes the classic Paper Mario formula and just runs with it. 
In fact, I would flat out say that this is the best Paper Mario game that I've played since A Thousand Year Door. And yes, I am including the most recent game, Origami King. Bug Fables truly is fantastic. It's got a very charming and an engaging story, which really surprised me. I did enjoy the story and its characters a lot, but it's the combat that really stands out. It is a turn-based game, and with each action, you must also interact with the game by inputting a quick sequence that pops up on the screen. This will directly correlate with the power of each attack that you use, and it can also be a very challenging game if you play it on hard difficulty. This is a legit RPG and not just a Paper Mario clone. Bug Fables is one of the best RPGs that I've played in years. To some RPG fans, the golden years of gaming was back when we had games like Boulder's Gate and Icewind Dell. The thing is, we don't really get many games like that anymore, but Pillars of Eternity is a great throwback to that time and era, but with a more modern approach. Obsidian, of course, is one of the best RPG developers in the entire industry, and it really shows with Pillars of Eternity. Both 1 and 2 has a very well thought out world with a lot of lore. The story is interesting as well with some of the best writing in any video game. And then there's the combat. So 1 and 2 does differ here. In the first game you use a real time combat system where you can pause the combat at any time. This can be a little overwhelming at first which can scare off new players, but the combat is done very well. The second game though gives you an option and you can do turn-based combat instead, which I do prefer. Both games are great though, and I'd highly recommend them both. Kingdom Come Deliverance is an often overlooked RPG, and it really shouldn't be. Deliverance is a story-driven RPG that takes a realistic approach to the world and its characters. Oftentimes when you see these type of games, they're usually set in a fantasy type world, but with Deliverance, it goes for realism. Even the main protagonist is not some chosen special hero, but just an everyday guy. This is where the game shines though, and it makes it really stand out. It is fun, but I think the main appeal will be its story. So if you like those type of games, Deliverance is definitely a game that you should go check out for yourself. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is one of the best open world RPGs you're going to find. This is a big AAA game and it looks absolutely gorgeous as you explore the world of ancient Greece. This is an era that's always fascinated me and you get to take the role as one of the most deadly warriors of all time, a Spartan. You do get to choose whether you play as a female or male, which is nice to have choice here. It does have an intriguing story taking place during the Peloponnese War between Spartans and Athens with a lot to do across the world. And the action based combat is rather fun as well. While Assassin's Creed hasn't always been an RPG franchise, I think Odyssey turned out to be a pretty good game that role-playing fans will really enjoy. Diablo 3 has become one of the most successful games of the last decade, and it's really easy to see why. While the world of Diablo 3 is maybe not as dark as the previous installments, Blizzard knocked it out of the park when it comes to gameplay. They have made several updates to this game, and over time it really did turn out to be one of the best RPG dungeon crawlers on the market. I think one of the reasons is because of how much choice you have. There is a ton of character builds that you can make in this game to completely change how the combat works. Then added to that, Diablo 3 is among the best cooperative games as well. In fact, I think Diablo is best played with a group of friends, though it still is highly enjoyable solo as well. You had to have known Skyrim was going to be somewhere on this list. Skyrim is probably on Mount Rushmore for Western RPGs and for good reason. Skyrim has now been available for nearly 9 years and to this day it's still got a huge community for several different reasons. For one, it's got a very fun world to explore that you can get absolutely lost in. You don't even have to play the main quest to be fully drawn into this world. It's also had several releases, but to this day, the PC is the best place to play Skyrim. This is mainly because of the modding community. Skyrim has a huge modding community that continuously gives you reason to come back to this game time after time. So not only is the base game of Skyrim very good, but there is a lot of other content related to Skyrim that is fun as well. On to our newest game on this list, The Outer Worlds. 
The Outer Worlds is almost a mix of both Fallout and Mass Effect, which is why I will actually say that you can put Fallout 4 in this spot as well. Both are excellent games. It's no coincidence though that The Outer Worlds is similar to Fallout, as Obsidian also created the fan favorite, Fallout New Vegas. Well, Obsidian took what they achieved with New Vegas and stepped up their game even further. It has a great universe to explore, poking fun at corporate culture, and there is a lot of humor. And unsurprisingly, Obsidian once again knocked it out of the park when it comes to dialogue. This is a very well written game in one of the best modern RPGs. To say that Mass Effect has a good story is probably an understatement. The Mass Effect trilogy is a brilliant sci-fi drama that quite simply is one of the most engaging and gripping stories in video game history. With that said, the end of Mass Effect 3 may have faltered just a bit, but the journey is more than worth it. All of your decisions span across three great games, and while Mass Effect 1 is a little dated now, Mass Effect 2 and 3 play phenomenally well from a gameplay standpoint. It's a really good third-person shooter RPG, and also the characters are some of the most memorable in any video game. Mass Effect truly is the entire package, and a game I would highly recommend. In many ways, Divinity Original Sin 2 is the perfect RPG. It has a rich fantasy world with a good story, a lot of customization that allows you, the player, to choose how you want to play and the combat itself is both fun and challenging at the same time. Back to that customization though, it's very interesting because the way your character looks can also impact how NPCs react to you. As an example, if you play as a skeleton, that can scare NPCs. So that goes to show you just how much love and attention Larian Studios put into Divinity Original Sin 2. Then there is the fact that this game can also be played cooperatively, which is something that you don't really see that often when it comes to RPGs like this. But it works great in this game because of its engaging, turn-based combat. If anything, Divinity Original Sin 2 is arguably the best isometric RPG of all time. And the number one spot unsurprisingly goes to The Witcher 3. I know The Witcher 3 gets a ton of praise, but there is a reason. The Witcher 3 is not only one of the best RPGs ever made, but it's also one of the best games ever made. It does everything masterfully. The story and its characters are great, the combat is unique and fun, you have meaningful decisions that actually impacts the world around you, the world is both beautiful and haunting, and not only does it have a great main quest, but also side quests and expansions that further makes this game an absolute masterpiece. So without a doubt, I have to place The Witcher 3 as the best RPG for PC right now. Anyways though, that's it for this video, but if I didn't mention some of your favorite games, let me know in the comments below. With that said, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the bell notification and subscribe button for more content just like this. Also, if you'd like to support the channel through Patreon, thank you for making this content possible. Peace out.